Hey guys, it is Michelle. So, I didn't want to rush through this next part in the last video because I did get some really cool things and I want to talk to you about them and stuff like that because there's a reason why I bought these things. So, let's get going. So, the first item that I picked up, I've been... I still want one, but I haven't gotten myself to buy it. I have a couple on my wish list, um, but eventually I will grab one. I've been looking for a beautiful um, like teapot because I, I, I've been trying to drink more tea. Um, and they have some beautiful sets that come in this little holder and I want to get a really nice china one, like a bone china one. Um, but they are obviously very expensive. So when I went to the thrift store while I was out, so there were a lot of mixed matched different tea sets. Um, there was a German set that really wasn't all that pretty. The colors were very dark, not something that I would have found in my house. Um, there was a some tea cups from an English tea set that were really worn, but they were so cute. And just a bunch of other different random sets and missing, a lot of them were missing the teapots, which is what I was really looking for because I've been wanting a teapot for quite some time. So I finally found one and I have to wash these still because I literally just brought them home. But I thought this one was super adorable. I love the size of it and I'll just show you. So I got this for $6. Isn't she adorable? So I'm not Irish, but I don't think you personally, I don't believe you need to be Irish to appreciate, you know, the shamrock patterns and stuff like that. Although. Um, there is a, a um, they do do a lot of Irish festivals and stuff um, in three towns over. So, you know, this looks like something that would have come from one of those gift shops. This is made by, oh, it's from Massachusetts. Victoria's Garden, Lowell, Massachusetts. But it's made in China. I feel like everything's made in China. But it's the perfect style that I was looking for. It's really nice and um, like it's perfect for, for your hot water. Um, it's a little worn in some places, but nothing too bad. I do need to wash it before use. But I've been wanting a teapot for so long and she was so cute. And I have seen teapots very similar to this. Um, go anywhere from $25 and up. So for $6, I thought this was a great deal and I will use it once she is clean. Because, oh, I'm so cute. I don't have any cute teacups. I'm just going to be using mugs for now. But eventually I'll get a really cute tea set. I don't need a big one, just, you know. So, um, the next thing that I purchased. So, all right, when I first moved out on my own and I started buying, like, I do have some of my grandfather's, like, cooking ware and stuff. Some of them, um, like his, I had his, like, turkey roasting pan. That ended up dying at some point. So, um, I actually need to replace that because the one I bought did not last. It was terrible. And that's my problem. A lot of the things in today's world, um, they're not built to last. I ended up buying baking sets and stuff like that, and they just don't last. And I got fed up with spending all this money at like Macy's and stuff, thinking I'm buying good quality items. And in the long run, they're not. And um, I just can't, especially when I have some of my grandfather's baking things and they're still good. So I always go to the thrift shop looking for like casserole dishes and baking dishes. Cause even like if you're bringing something to someone like putting it in a dish that they can keep. I tried doing that too. Although this place was pretty pulled apart. Like there wasn't that much good stuff there. I mean, I thought the teapot was a huge hit, but how many people are looking for teapots? You know, I'm probably the only weirdo in the city at the time that was looking for one. Anyway, um, I did find some casserole dishes that I'm super excited about. So let me show you the first one. So I actually have quite a few pieces of this particular style. This is a, I think it's pronounced Corningware, Corningware, made in the U.S. for range and microwaves. This is the one and a half quart. I paid $5 for this dish. I have one of these already, um, this size, but I use these so much and uh, they're, you can't kill them. 
if you buy like I can't tell you how many modern day ones that I've purchased and they do not last so every time I find these and they're reasonably priced I pick them up so I got this again I can't tell you I do have other styles I have one where it's like I think it's the French vegetables I forget what it's called though I don't know like the design names I know that this is like the blue flower design and then I have one it's another I think it's a another fruit um motif with a little purple lid um that was a cool find but I don't know if I ever hauled that with you guys but anyway so this will match the majority of the ones I have I find the blue um corning one the most I don't find them that often but I have more of these than anything Next, I'm so excited for this next one, I can't tell you. So this is a Pyrex dish. So I don't know the year on this thing, but this was made in the US. I believe so is this one. Yeah, these are made in the US. You can't, you can't find anything made in the US anymore, I feel. So this is a Pyrex. Made in the USA ovenware. And this is going to be a perfect casserole dish. Because some, I have a corningware that's a casserole style dish, but it's a lot bigger. So it doesn't really fill up the way I need it to. This one is going to be perfect. I am so excited. So this one was a little bit more money. It was eight bucks. There is obvious wear and there is scratching to it. Again, I'm purchasing these for usage. I know some people collect these. I don't think it's like I said, I paid eight bucks for it. I don't think it's worth much more than that. I mean, you can see like there's wear here and stuff, but it's the perfect size for like brownies and stuff. I can't tell you how many, I hate those nonstick ones. I can't tell you how much I hate them. Like the metal ones, they just don't last. Um, and uh, what's the other thing? Cookie sheets, I hate the cookie sheets. Like my grandfather had, I don't have everything that my grandfather had when he left because I moved in here, his, they moved to a different place and he had remarried and she um they, they took a lot of the stuff with them obviously and like the cooking sheets and stuff like that that they had for like 50 years i don't even know i should look what the, i don't know they're probably not that great but i might i'm always going through like trying to find a perfect cooking sheet i could just use this yeah, so I was excited for that. And my last find is another Pyrex, and I have never found one of these. I don't have a lot of bowls. She is a little banged up too. But again, I don't think it's the end of the world because I'm gonna be using it. So they don't put dates on these things. So this is a Pyrex. Um, I think it's 2.5 quarts. For oven and microwave, no stovetop or broiler. Corning, New York, USA. Okay, that's cool. I paid $6 for this one. And it's a mixing bowl. I guess you can bake in here. I'm not sure what you would put in here. I was going to use this mixing bowl. But it's got this wheat pattern. And I know that the Pyrex has had a few different patterns on them. Um... I don't know much more about them, but I was so stoked to find this one because I only have, I have two bowls that I use for mixing, but we're talking like they're kind of on the fancy side. They have like the gold edging and stuff. I think they're actually meant to be for salads. They're not meant for baking. Um, they were, I, they're, um, one of them has little flowers with a gold pattern that somebody gifted me. And the other one, my dad bought me and it's got the same, it's gold, kind of like the teapot here. It's got this gold detailing and it's got a peacock on the inside. So they're meant for, you know, entertainment, not for when you're making banana bread or, you know, whatever baking thing you're doing. So, but this one is, and I can't wait. I think I did pretty good. No score on shoes, no score on clothing, no score on books. I total fail on books. And I always go to try to save vintage trolls. Nothing, nothing vintage at all. Uh, no Bernsey Bear books, no Goosebump books. I like looking for those too. Nothing. But I don't think it was a wasted trip. So I think I paid like 25 bucks for everything. And I'm going to use all of it. Um, I'm so stoked. Like... 
I'm always looking for the the Corning wear stuff, but I never find it. And the one time I did find it, I found one that's taller and not in good shape, I'll be honest with you. Really, really like banged up kind of thing. And I had a guy give me an attitude over it, like somebody else who was shopping. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I guess I'm thinking he was a reseller. I think he wanted to resell it, but I, I don't think they're worth that much money. Like I looked one time at my corning like just to see what they were worth and they're they're only selling like 10 bucks on ebay i haven't looked in a long time so i don't know it could have changed but yeah so i'm so excited i'm so excited ah anyway guys i'm going to go before we run out of time and i gotta wash these bad boys up so i hope you enjoy this video as much as i did and i'll see you in the next one take care bye